Now that that dance trend is all over TikTok, who else is ready to see Link? Probably not dance anymore. Not too much. Trying to get into this. All right, so where we left off, I gotta lower the volume here. All right, so where we left off, we went ahead and did some of the uh, Deku Palace. Got some of the first night things, such as the uh, dancing mask here. Now we're gonna warp back to uh, Swamp and go ahead and get some of that stuff there. Wrong woodfall. Here we go. Back to Southern Swamp. All right, so we got the Picto Trap, Picto Box. Go ahead and turn that in and get something. Fight this Wolfos here. Oh, that should be enough. We should be able to win a contest that's in here. <laughs> there we go. We're showing this pictograph. And that's his son. Tingle is his son officially. Therefore, that is now canon. Now we're gonna go ahead and warp on over to... <coughs> uh, if I can play the right song too. Oh, warp back over to Wolf Hall here. We're gonna play the Song of Awakening and gonna go ahead and open up or waken up. Now the temples can only be woken up by their individual transformations. I apologize, you might hear my cats in the background. There we go. And this should play this nice cutscene here. So we will be getting all the fairies and everything. Go and get in there. Ooh, barely made it. Ideally, we finish the temple here uh, really quickly. That. There is another fairy here. We can tell because of fair glittering. We gotta figure out where. And if I remember correctly, it is over here. But I could be completely wrong. Again, I don't know this game as well as I should. Go. All right, now we're gonna go across. You see there's two Sculptulas. We're just gonna kind of fly in between. Stick. I know we need that. Deku nuts. Ooh, and a fairy. Leave. Yeah, there's another fairy over here. This temple particularly just does not have a whole lot going on in terms of rooms. It is kind of just the first one. So there's gonna be a lot of fairies in individual rooms. All right. Light. Well, objective though is just to hit them underneath. There are other ways to do it. That for me is just easier. I got the map. Cross back. Forgot there's this chest over here. Remember correctly. Yep, there we go. I'll be back to this room as well. Now we have a key. There was a locked door earlier that we passed by, so we're gonna go through that. I missed! Oh no. Oh. All right, there we go. Now there is a fairy in here. There we go. They killed uh, some of them as well. Another fairy as well underneath there. See if we can't get that. There we go. Now we got that. Normally supposed to uh, loot the poison basically. And I just screwed this up. I said, all right, push this. We're actually gonna go ahead and light a torch using the deck stick we got earlier. Come on, let me swing my sword. There we go. Bubble. Take him out. Come on. There we go. I was going after those hearts. <laughs> Didn't quite make it. Right there. Now I got the compass. Nice to have. I don't remember where the other fairy is. I'm pretty certain it's probably one of the uh it comes up top. Alright, let's go ahead and blow these guys up. There we go. Sword. There we go. Got an extra stick finally. That would be pretty helpful. Like I says there's a lot of evil here and it'll be dark. And it doesn't get dark until after you step in the room a little bit. <laughs> All right, so our objective here is to kill all these things. It's kind of why I'm just spinning through. It's the most efficient method, but it's one of the easier ones. I made it on top of the chest. Should be a fairy. There we go. Last resort. Boom. All right, so here we go through this room. We just kind of make it through without falling. Move your dragonfly. We just kind of leave a uh, tail behind. Ooh, missed me. Press on this. It's pretty helpful, just in case we fall down. We'll be able to come back up. I don't know why it spawns too. Symmetry, I guess. All right, so we're getting into this fight. Out with a stick. I did not need to mean to pull out that stick. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, fire. There we go. Got all about the fire. Now those guys are called dinos dinofoles, I believe. A little different than Les Alphos, which we didn't really fight a whole lot of dinofoles in OOT, but they're already throwing it out in the beginning. All right, so the rest of the dungeon is just revolving around the arrow. And this is where I say it preys on the knowledge of people who have played OOT before. It really does just expect you to shoot that array. Now, you can have played OOT and guess that. I'm not saying like you had to have, but it was like people knew what was going to happen. Right, just beat him up. He's going to call his friend. Later on, we'll be able to kill him a lot faster than this. There you go. <laughs> I'm not sure how that worked, but I'll take it. There we go. Killed the frog. I remember the fact that he's in fact a frog. All that will come sen make sense here uh, after the third dungeon. Boss key acquired. So hopefully she'll be able to make this, I hope. Got it. There we go. All right, hopefully this will be it. There we go. All right, there's that. And then we have to like make this jump. If I make this jump, I meant actually uh, dive through here. Totally didn't fail. There we go. Another fairy here. I think that might be this. That's yeah, almost like I've played this game before. Come on. You should have 15 before you ever get to the boss, though. No oh, crap. Kill that guy. Well, that works. Why are you doing it? Let's try this again. Oh no. I'm gonna get the fairies the old fashioned way. Come on. Thank you. Alright, let's try this again. And last fairy. Alright, once again. There's a uh, skull chillers or whatever would come down and hit me. And in we go. So he's pretty simple for the most part.
Oh, you're doing a dance. There we go, got him. Got him before he did the ring of fire attack, which is very annoying. All right. Got the heart container. And now we can make it spring in the swamp whenever we want. Or clean up the swamp, I guess. So the rest of this episode here, we're going to go ahead and work on some mini games uh, for the archery, which I have mixed feelings about. And then, uh... We'll go back and do the Honey and Darling secondary day. And we'll try to start some of the uh, next area as well. So we've got a lot to do, hopefully. I will stop here, though, once it uh, hits day two ending. Day two starts to end. And by the next episode here, we should be doing finishing up a lot of the Goron Quest stuff. And the Goron Village. Have you done this before? He asked. To somebody who's very clearly done this before. This is where Tail starts becoming, or Tattle becomes more. I don't say less sassy per se, but. sincere. And you know she's the princess because she has jewelry.
But, uh, there's a lot of things you thought you'd probably see. I don't think you ever would think you'd see a, uh, princess in a bottle. Alright, so we're gonna walk in, and we're gonna give them the princess. And they're literally roasting the monkey. I love how he's just burned and boiled alive, and he was just like, ah, oh, forget about that. I uh, think we have to talk to him. My next objective is to actually get something we can only get. Only get, uh,. After we beat the temple. Alright, so we're going out here to the right. That's the problem with going too fast sometimes. You can just overshoot. And there we go. Uh, the whole objective is just to keep up with the butler. Do not get lost. He's very quick. There's no advantage to beating him. Other than maybe saving time if you're a speedrunner. All right, and now we're at the end. And he's talking about his son and how we look like his son. And if you remember way back earlier in the beginning of the game, we saw that Deku. And we look like him. All right. Oh, I just didn't make it. Ah! 
Uh, either way, we're gonna we're gonna just warp. There we go. If I can remember what the combination. Pretty terrible at that. So in terms of when the area is completed, when you defeat the boss and the area changes, that's about all you can really do in that area, anyways. And we got this boat right here, which we're doing next. Nice. Right, so now a little game. We're gonna just shoot the target and not shoot her. I think you only have to hit it like 20 times, if I remember correctly. But you can't shoot her 10. Despite if you play to OT, you might want to. Oh, I'm doing absolutely atrocious on this. I think I clutched it out at the end. Oh! <laughs> I most certainly did. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna go back and do the Honey Darling Shop ones, just because they are time-gated. The rest of the stuff I'm doing is not. So back to clock down we go. Honey Darling, if you remember, the first one we did was Bomb Tree Bowling. Oh, not Bomb Tree Bowling. I don't remember what they called it. Now <laughs> right, we're back here now. Basket Bomb. <laughs> Hey, first try. That one's a little more difficult than the bomb to one just because you get to specifically throw it very specific ill. <laughs> Let me get a little more centered. Apparently I was off center. Oh, here we'll go ahead and do the other um, archery minigame right here. <laughs> Blue you lose, red you win. There we go. That's fit. And then we gotta do this again. And there we go, there's 50. And boom, heart piece. All right, one more set of mini games to go. And that is the secondary archery. That's located here in the Southern Swamp. We're gonna go this way here and then that's where it'll be. So I'll see y'all there. This one I hate. I actively hate this one. So I'm gonna save state the heck out of this one. So I apologize. I forgot this about this one. So I will see y'all on the other side of Rage. I'm pretty certain I've already missed a wolf. Stupid crow. Oh my gosh.
Yep. Um... All right. I'll see y'all when I get done raging. Stupid crow! Die, would you? Round one. All right, second quiver upgrade, and now we gotta do this again. Yay, did it. Don't you see the joy? Sorry, sarcasm is too good. All right, now that the worst mini game ever is now done, away we go. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the next area here. I'm gonna go ahead and dump all the rupees I have. There we go, open this way up. And now we're heading towards Mountain Village. And that'll probably be the last time we ever go through that hole. That whole, uh, corridor anyways. We'll be spending a lot of time. This is one of the areas that changes the absolute most after you beat the boss. I certainly spent a lot of time in this area for some reason. We're gonna talk to our old pal over here. Maybe if I can hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna blow him up too, apparently. Alright, he's gonna go ahead and give us a map here. Oh. Alrighty, another white wolf us. I remember how much he sells for. We'll come back and do that. See the shadow? Comes important. And he's just like, follow. And now we're gonna see if we slip off and die. That'd be embarrassing. What the heck? Why was that mini jump there, Link? Why did he mini jump? And there we go. Alright, so we got the Lunge of Truth here, which is gonna let us go back. And we're supposed to follow this guy. And he's just gonna go running off. Doesn't really matter which way we go, as long as we just follow him a little bit. Actually, it doesn't even matter if we follow him. We can actually warp on over, and he would be there too. Let's 
So now we're gonna climb this, and I'm sorry, this is gonna sound really annoying, so I'm gonna skip most of it. All right, there we go. Ready to get ready to have their uh, musical melt songs on. Both the order. Nope, wrong one. Left, right, down. Okay. <laughs> And now he's dead, he's complaining. He was trying to be a hero at Snowhead. He's crying. How sad. And we're going to open up his grave, go talk to a guy. Kinda. All right, open all this up. It's gonna be a nice hot spring. Get ourselves hot spring water. It'll eventually run out, so we're gonna roll. And done correctly. You can just make it. Oh, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Unfreeze this here. And now we have to do a little bit of back and forth here. I'll open this up, and we're gonna hear some crying, so I apologize to uh, headphones users. Rip. Epic spinning camera. Epic fail as well. All right, so he wants his daddy. But now we're gonna go talk to his grandpa. So I'll have to come back for that guy. And that'll be the biggest bomb bag. All right, so punch this out. See an old man. All right, speak to him. And be like, oh, you are in fact Armani. How about that? I guess it's not his grandpa, I guess it's his son. He's gonna try to teach us a song. And you can't remember. I said. Get some nice bongos. Well, not bongos, drums, I guess. He gets the bongo, I get drums. So now we're gonna go back this way, hill, and back down. Open here, and go back and sing to the child. And by that I mean fail. Dude. 
Oh wait, that's the rest of it. Whoops. And that's how we learn the rest of the tune. Whoops. He's gonna go to sleep. Good night, little one. Everybody's asleep for us to uh, light all these torches now. And there we go. All right, so that's gonna start spinning and that's gonna let us get something. Doesn't look like that was it. I'm gonna play guess again. Look like that was a other. Oh, I missed. Boom. There we go. Nailed it. First try. So we're going to take this all the way to a hungry Goron. You might have even seen him earlier. I'll probably point him out. For the most part, if you ignore the enemies, they just miss. All right, so we will end this video once we get up to Snow Peak Mountain here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on buying the uh, bomb bag. We're going to save this Goron first. Rock sirloin, and then he eats it off camera, of course. He gives us the mask, and he rolls off. I'm gonna pull the money from the bank. It's not super important right now because we're going to have a much easier farming method after the final dungeon. It was just nice to have the 200 wallet so we can have get some of this stuff. Actually, I, I got another... No, I'm going to do the bank. Cut that out. Whoops. No, I don't want to deposit either. Come on. All right, I'll deposit 13 so I can just take two easily. All right, sure. It would be nice if we had more magic, wouldn't it? Oh, I forgot. Okay, well, in that case, I'm just going to leave the video here. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below. Check out other playthroughs I did, both solo and with others. And remember to keep enjoying life. I'll see you all in the next one. See ya. All right, so he wants his daddy, which we are technically, in a way.